So the first part of this course we're going to do is build our editor X site. Right, so obviously on your dashboard here, my site, create a new site. For our use case, we want to go on to edit X. For this one, I don't think it really matters. I'm going to choose blog. Now, because we're not concentrating on the design, we're going to concentrate on the back end. I'm just going to pick one at random, pick this one here. Here we go. So now I'm in. And one good thing about Editor X and Wix is they do make some pretty nice templates. Nice for absolute certainty. Right. Okay, okay. So now we have to create our database, which we're going to feed into Content Manager, Add to Site. Now, a pretty cool thing about Editor X is it gives you these previews. A preset sorry uh, for this one I'm just going to choose this works for me add to site from there it gives you a preset of your teams because this is the uh, preset I signed up for here and delete remove this collection because we don't need this collection perfect here I'm going to add a collection call it videos because that is what we're pulling in pulling videos from Airtable into our editor X site I'm going to create now in here, so we obviously want a title. We also want, uh, if it's YouTube, a YouTube thumbnail. And this is going to be image. Save that. We need a YouTube link. So it's going to be a URL. Perfect. I'm also going to save the Airtable ID in it. ID. It's going to be a straight text field. And that's it. Now what EditorX does is it gives you four hidden fields it says here. What I like to do is the ID, which is the ID of that record, turn that on. So I like the ID coming through. Let's test this one. So this is going to be show me the money video. Thumbnail is going to be free image YouTube link to YouTube.com and Airtable ID. Oh, we also want a description, which is going to be a rich text field. Perfect. So that is done. Now what we need to do is add a dynamic page and presets for annual collections. So you click onto this your database uh, content manager here to manage content visions you go to the dots to the side and you go add down that dynamic list page obviously you can create a dynamic list in your front page as well if need be but for this use case i'm gonna add it here and there we go that's our one we made up show me the money that is just what we needed right so that is our first collection added it's our main collection added our videos now one thing is really important to do is to go into your manage all items on your collection list and this will allow this app to add items to your collection list now from your collection list you can see here more actions collection settings but additional settings here site content custom use at the bottom set custom permissions here and for who can create content for this collection you need to set it to anyone save changes and one thing i forgot to do actually is on here is on this collection bit here add dynamic item page so we're going to be needing that there we go that's our dynamic item page in this lovely template provided by editor X. perfect so that is basically our front end all ready to go ready for content to be sent to it now we need to do is add some code to this front end and now what, how will we do this is we go on to we go to dev mode at the top here turn it on Dev mode can be a bit tricky. There we go. Now, when you turn on dev mode, you go into here, and you go into public and back end, which is this bit here. Page code, public and back end. Get rid of this bit here. What you do from here is you follow what it says the API documentation post in Wix HTTP functions. Right, I'll leave the link to this at the bottom. So, in this, we need it says here, look. The post function is not a function that you can call from your code. You define the function in the file name HTTP functions.js. So let's grab that back into here. Click on add back in code like that. And that's that bit there. And as you can see, we, we create this back end HTTP function bit. It gives you some guidelines. You can produce endpoints, premium site, free site, and it's all in here. Right, so after this, what we need to do is go into here again, the Wix documentation, scroll down to this bit here. Now we want to copy this code. Let's copy, go into here, next line, copy that into there. Right, so the important things here we need to figure out, we need to do is one, we need to change this export function post function post underscore my function. So I'm going to change the name of this to my video 
we're going to copy this name and save it elsewhere video there we go and you see it says insert my collection return insert my collection please put the name of your collection in there my collection is video and then the right way so what i've done there is that so we need to do here so it's my video post my video post is adding the information to it right so post is create a item in your collection list and underscore my video that's the name of your function remember that and in here underneath here videos is the name of your collection list and in videos we need to make sure in your collection list you need to make sure you're going to edit settings you're going to edit Additional settings, custom use, set custom permissions, make sure they're on anyone. Otherwise, you won't be allowed to change, add information to it. Right, so in the next video, we'll be adding, creating our Airtable base.